continuing on, uh, you have to go now to the bait shop where where I went to the beginning. Uh, Ew, yeah, and take the here. bait, which is on your me. right. Yeah, there it is. Uh, And then go out because you can't get anything else in there. Now go on left, and you should be aiming to go where I'm going, and it leads you straight to two people playing chess, as shown here. And you need to get the clock, and you know, you talk to the fat uh, pirate yes. first. And just try to distract hey, him. It's a plate of brownies. Where? And he, he the thing is, it must be. So he's look, he's um, you know. So he's just dropped the chess piece. You have to uh, you have to say the the um sentence when he's holding the chess piece. Now you talk to him um, yes. and try and get him uh, his attention. Hi, giant lizard. Hmm. He's not bothered, so this is where. Oh, okay. The real insult is it has to say, like, is that Brittany, the bank teller, or something? Uh, huh? So that's the wrong option. Uh, Can I sure. huh. Why? Big. Uh. Right, you have to talk to the fat you player and game? say, you know, you have to get him to say, you know, that the skinny pirate uh, okay, is in love with Brittany or something like that. Here we go. Senor Castaneda is exceptionally well disciplined. Once he sets his mind to a task, it's nearly impossible to shift his attention. Except. Yes? Well, here you he go. Does see? Get something of a torch for Brittany. There you go. So now talk to him when he's holding back to your game. a chess piece. Um, yes. Brittany. Ooh, Brittany. There you go. Now he's dropped that piece. <laughs> Ooh, good move. Don't tell me you're gonna count that. You bet your bonny butt I am. You unbelievable jerk. Who was it told me that rules are rules, Tabo? Now they're just losing now. This is a move. You can do that. Oh yeah, who's gonna stop me? She's chopper. So now you can take the clock as they're not really um playing the game anymore. So that's like jacked. Right. Um next thing you do is you go to the uh yeah, manhole and use the broken sword with it. And you drop your sword, but you get the manhole cover. Uh, and just uh, remember the names. Wendy, ha Harry and Jed, you have to remember those names. Uh, so go to the palace of Pro Steve, whatever. <laughs> Can't even read it from here as my screens at the moment um, is a little bit small. But don't worry about that. So you so you talk to the guy with the eye patch. Pro Steve's. No right. Your mum. I'm Guybrush Streetboy, mighty pirate. But you don't smell so mighty to me. What? In fact, you smell kind of flowery. What? Heck, I can smell your lilacs and lilies aftershave even through my stuffy nose. Wow. Oh. Good. Oh, Dave. Around here, they call me Dead Eye Dave. I'm the Tri Island area's foremost expert in anatomical approximation. 
Yeah, right. I'm looking for some gifts for my differently able pirate friend. Then you come to the right place. What kind of prosthesis did you have in mind? Prosthesis. Oh, did I? So yeah. What do you think I'm running a charity? What can I say? Yeah. I'm broke. Okay. You've appealed to my sense of generosity. Here's what I'll do. I'll let you have one of my untested, ungarished. So, do you remember those names at the bottom of the manhole? You have to say what kind of the names. I'll let you choose through a story, huh? Humor me. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named. So, Harry, that's Harry? the one on the manhole. Reader had told Harry that he was destined to marry a beautiful singer named Wendy, as that's Wendy, another name on the manhole cover. Wendy had already pledged her heart to a jerk named and what's her last uh, name? It is right. Jed. Well, and he should well, say well, something well, with skin well, in it. That's it, now you get a prosthetic skin. There you go, that is the exact thing you want. Right, you have to uh, remember that he is blind. So, you don't have to talk to him anymore, for now, anyway. Uh, use the music box with Dead Eye Dave. And remember, he's of slightly deaf, I think. Oh, I guess he is deaf. Uh, now, you have to go to the basket, and you have to be pretty quick, because the music box will... Um, you know, end any second, and you should aim for the hand. It's a basket of finely crafted prosthetic limbs. And it's too late; the music has stopped. And if you take it, then uh, after um, he'll say, "Do I hear something?" Do you mind if I turn this on? And then he'll say, "Put her back." Said, so now, as he's deaf, he can't hear anything. You quickly go to the basket. And take the hand. See? There you go. And that is all you have to do for now. So now use the prosthetic skin with the manhole. Hey, it's like a trampoline. Now you use the whoa, whoa, whoa. trampoline thing. Whoa. Oh look, the window's whoa, open. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. We get it. So go down the ladder and then turn on the light and if you do not know where the light is, it's on the right, right there, yank the chain. It controls that light. Technology marches forward. And then pick up the scuba wear thing. Yeah, the scuba wear. Uh, scuba wear. Uh, and then go straight up to, up the ladder again. And can you see on the left, there's a shadow that looks like a nose, triangle thing. Which is a nose. Just look at the funny shadow. What's that shadow? It looks like a nose? Hey, a prosthetic nose. Good, gross. I'll bet this belongs to that smelly pirate guy. The one with no nose. 